Now that we are able to add a product cut, I want us to start working on our cut UI before we uh, continue with the rest of the logic because we'll need these buttons, for example, to remove an item from cut, to increase quantity, decrease quantity, or clear the cut. So what I'll do, I'll just come to up, then I'll go to cut, and we have this page right here, and I remove everything here. I can start with a class name, and I'll include padding to the top of it. And then in here, we will wrap our content with the container component. And this will come from components container. And then here, uh, I'll create a new component that we will include right here. And I'll call this component a cut client. Let's add a new file. And I can say cut client dot tsx and I'll hit enter, state rest functional component, cut client, let's return a div, I save that file, and here we will include that cut client, and I close it, and now I save that file, and I can close this file. So now let's work on this cut client right here. So at the top here, we can start by getting our cut products. So I can just say const I destructure cut products from use cut hook. So I set this to be equal to use cut. You have to import that and I invoke it. Before we return, let's perform a check. If no cut products or cut products dot strength uh, is equals is equals to zero, what we will do is that we'll display a message of an empty cut. So right here we can go ahead and return immediately and we can return a div we'll have another div that will say your cut is empty and then we'll also have another div here that will show a link this link will come from next link inside here we'll have two things an icon and a span let's start with the span and the span will say start shopping and for this link it expects us to have a href and we will include home uh, link where we have the list of our product and also we'll have a class name and we can style uh, whatever we have here we have span but also we'll be having an icon we'll be having md arrow back so this will come from react icons md so make sure it's imported sometimes it doesn't auto import and we self cross this one like that so i save to auto format here let's add the styles here so for this we'll have text as straight 500 we'll display flex we'll make sure items are at the center gap of one and margin to the top of two i save and those are the styles there we come to the top here we add some styles for this so i'll say class name we'll display flex uh, flex will be column, we will have items at the center, we will make this to be big, so we can also have a class name here, text will be to excel, now we are done with this part, okay, and you can see it's actually complaining, because we brought in use cut, but we didn't mark this as a client component, so here use client, and we save, there we go. So you can say stroke cut, hit enter. Okay, for a moment we see this, your cut is empty, start shopping. So when I refresh, you'll see for a moment we see our design there. But it disappears because we already have an item in the cut. So yeah, I won't uh, keep removing it because we need it to see how it will look like. So let's just proceed at the bottom here. To start with, we'll have this heading and i can say heading this was expecting a title and we can say uh, shopping cart uh, i save and we should be able to see it here there we go shopping cart we can pass a center plop i save and now it's at the center we'll have a div here and for this div now we'll have this section here we'll add this title where we have product price quantity total and we will use CSS grid to divide it into those sections. So first of all, let's add those headings. So right here, I'll say div and we will have product. We will have price. 
we will have quantity and we will finally have total let's add the styles for this so i'll say class name we'll display grid we'll create five columns so i'll say grid uh, hyphen calls uh, hyphen five and then we'll say text to be xs and then we'll have a gap of four and then we'll have a padding to the bottom of two and finally here we'll have items to be at the center now here we have created five columns but the columns that we add here they are four so we'll make this to occupy two of the columns so right here we add a class name and we'll say call a hyphen span two and then we'll justify self to the start then here we'll add a class name we'll justify self to the center we'll do the same for quantity so i'll copy that to come here and paste and for the total we'll justify to the end so justify self and here like that i save and now we should have those being listed right here okay they are right here like that product price quantity total now you can see that this heading is so close to this one we can add margin to the top here so margin to the top of eight i save and now this should come down there we go awesome so now we'll able to list our items next so after this title right there we now have our different items after this div this one we come right here and we'll have another div and right here we'll map our cut products so cut products and if we have it we can say cut products and then dot map we invoke this one we pass another function that we return something for now we can return a div like that and right here we'll get an item at a time and here we'll be having a key which will be our item dot id and for now let's just show item dot name so like that i save and here you should have at least one item and we have it there so i want to design the design for this one right now we'll do it on the next episode uh, for now i want us to complete the design at the bottom here where we have this subtotal and this clear cut and then the next episode we'll just work on this one and then move on from there so after this div let's come right here we'll have a div and inside this div we'll have a button to clear the cut so i'll add a div again and then we'll show the button in here so button this will come from our components button and it's self closing it expects us to pass a label and we'll say clear cut and then it expects us to pass an on click right here on click and for now we'll just pass an empty function it does not do anything so i save we have this clear cut now it's very big but uh, i want it to be both small and outlined so i'll say small and then outline and then right here at this div we'll add a class name and we'll add a width of 90px so it will not be more than that so i save and it should show a small button on this side there we go so we now have this clear cut awesome so this is our button here at the bottom here we'll now be having the other side right here where we have subtotal and so on we'll add a div inside this div we'll have a div inside this div uh, we'll have a span and we'll say subtotal and then right here we'll have a paragraph and this will say taxes and shipping 
calculated at checkout uh, like that let's add some styles so you see this shows at the bottom here so we can start adding the styles from this div here before our button here this one so here we had a class name we can start by showing a border to the top so border hyphen t and we'll include a custom one 1.5 px and right here we'll have our border as straight 200 and then padding along the y-axis of 4 and then flex and we justify between and have a gap of 4. Now when I save that subtotal should move on this side like that and we should have this border right there. So after our button we move to this div right here and we add some styles right here. Uh, we'll add a class name, we'll make the text to be small and we'll show flex then flex call then we'll have a gap of one and items will be at the start i save so these styles are for this section right here let's style our subtotal right here so for this subtotal we'll be having two things uh, we'll be having the title here and the amount here so i can wrap this span with another div so i can say div and i'll move the span right there we will add another span right here for the amount so here we'll have span and here we will show the price okay i can just show a custom price of maybe a thousand dollars i save to auto format uh, actually we should be having two things we should be having this one and this one so i will remove one of this wrapper div okay sorry so i remove one of this wrapper div and save now we have two things inside this div here we have this and we have this now let's add classes here so i'll say class name we will flex we will justify uh, between we will have a width of full and text will be a bit big so text will be base and font will be semi bold like that i save and now look subtotal then the price on this side then you have this paragraph all we can do for this paragraph is to change its, its color so we can have a class name and we'll say text to be straight 500 and i save so it's a bit pale awesome now we'll add this checkout button and this continue shopping link so now after our paragraph here that has taxes we will have a button we say button and it is self-closing we pass a label now for now we'll say checkout but later when we add authentication we'll dynamically uh, show this particular button then it expects us to have an on click for now we pass a function that does nothing like that i save and it should show at the bottom here and there we go we have checkout after this button we will have a link component uh, we will show an arrow like the one we had shown at the top this one and this one uh, actually i think everything here will be the same so i can just copy this link and i make use of it here but instead of start shopping we will say continue shopping I save and there we go continue shopping so now we have uh, styled the basic structure of our shopping cart uh, the only thing that we should do is to style each of these products and let's do that in the next episode